Okay, rather than write an email in return to a friend of mine from way across the other side of the world, I'm going to do a video. And this friend of mine sent me some information from this really, really wise guy. What's his name? It doesn't matter. And he wanted to know if what this guy said was true or what I said was true or to clarify and yada, yada, yada. Okay, guys, let me explain something to you. Since humans could write things down, they have been trying to figure out how things work. That's the game. That's why you came. Where you came from, you know where every, how everything works. <laughs> you created all of it. We are all one. We are all one. We are all one. We are all one. Okay? On the other side, you created all this. You were a part of all this. Whether it was the individual person or entity that split off of the one, you're still part of him. You still are a part of him. And when you get outside of this creation, <clears throat> you'll remember all of that. And it was very, very, very complex deal to get from God, oneness, to 3D human. Hugely, hugely complex. Extremely complex. Since time has started, there have been wise people, enlightened people, ascended masters, angels, whatever, all kinds of beings that have come through and tried to explain how things work. In civilized mankind's time right now, where everybody thinks they know it all, I guarantee you 10 years from now they won't know it all. Though There will be list after list, books after books of things that they will have gone, oh, we were wrong, it really works like this. That's the game. It is the fun. That is the reason why humans come and do this. It's figuring things out. That's why you have the amnesia. Okay? If you are here to figure out how come you're here or how you got here, well, stay in 4D. Enjoy the ride. There has never been and never will be a physical being with a brain that is capable of understanding how things got from being one God to 4D, 3D physical entities. Can't be done. Can't be done. There's too much. It's too big. A person, there are scientists that have studied one tiny little aspect of life on this planet their whole lives and still aren't even coming close. There will be scientists that continue to, to, to study quantum physics like it's, well, remember before quantum physics? Remember before that when everybody was operating? Oh, yeah, we know what it is. We know how everything's working. Then all of a sudden they found out, whoa, how we thought things worked doesn't work here. What's going on? Oh, we found a new thing. Well, that just keeps happening and keeps happening and keeps happening, keeps happening till you come out of this all together. It is trying to figure things out that is the game. You will never go from being in physical form and knowing how everything runs. Can't be done. Can't be done. Now, I can do that, but I don't do it from a human perspective. I go to where I went from the outside of all of this creation's perspective and look inside to know how it all works. But then I've got to come in here and you guys want to know all the answers about how everything works. And there are no words to explain them. There are concepts you don't even understand yet. You haven't even found yet that don't have words that I'm supposed to explain to you. You don't know how to time travel. You don't know how to do tele uh, uh, telekinesis. You don't know how. There's so much of the basic stuff that you don't know how to do yet that you don't even have words for. In 4D, they know all the scientific facts on all of those things. They aren't magical. It's not unusual. This is stuff that is scientifically proven in the fourth dimension. You just don't know it yet. You haven't learned it yet. You're like on the ABCs and you want me to teach you quantum mechanics master degree level, which cannot be done. I cannot do it. I can't do it. What I can do 
is say that if you want to learn how all of this works, if you want to continue to the game, if you enjoy this experience, and believe me, there are beings that do. G-Man does. G-Man does. Nothing wrong with it. I've said that over and over again. There is nothing wrong with this game. It is a glorious game for those who want to play. No judgment against anyone who wants to play. But understand this, you will never, ever figure out how you went from God to human by using a human brain. Never. It's impossible. It doesn't even make sense, does it? I mean, does it make sense? The human brain cannot fathom so much now, here, with the knowledge that is available. One person cannot access all the knowledge that's available to humankind. Is that not true? One human cannot. It's because your brains are not built that way. Your brains are take things apart. Look at them very specifically. You, can't, you cannot accumulate and access all the knowledge on this planet, in this brain at one time. You're not going to be able to understand, accumulate knowledge that doesn't even have words for it yet in your world. But what I can give you is if you enjoy if you if you enjoy the figuring things out thing. I encourage you strongly. You could be in this group. I encourage you strongly. Uh I don't think Krista will mind me telling you she has opted to go back and and experience 4D in this life. The heading to 5D was causing her too much trouble. It was too hard. It was too painful. She opted to go back to being a 4D human, and she is in. She understands where she is. She understands what she's doing, and she's enjoying it much more because she has a perspective of it. There's nothing wrong with 4D. If that's what you want to do, then you should be in 4D, and you should love it. Like G-Man says, love this place that you're in. If that's your gig, love it. If it is not your gig, it is not mine. But I am not asking anybody to do it my way. It's not mine. I came for a specific reason. I have done that specific task that I came to do. And now I am going home doing another task. There's nothing wrong with my way either, by the way. There's nothing wrong with wanting to go to 5D and home. There's nothing wrong with that either. The trouble is that the judgment needs to stop. That if you've decided that you want to go wherever it is, wherever you are along the path, if you enjoy where you are, then stay and do it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. If it doesn't feel right to you, then what you need to do, because your brain cannot work this out, is you will always be able to go home to oneness. Always. It's a built-in, it's a built-in failsafe. That if you will be happier and happier and happier, no matter where you start, doesn't matter, no matter where you start, if you will consistently be happier and happier and happier, you will eventually end up home. It may not be as fast as you'd like, but that is totally based on how much happier you get every time. And don't worry about the how. Don't worry about the how. If you understood from the all that is, how complicated, how, oh my gosh, you, you guys can't even fathom the amount of earth time it took to go from unity to to 3D Earth human. It, it was a huge creation. It is a huge creation. And it is more complex than you can even fathom. The human body is easy. And <laughs> humans can't figure that out. Of course I can't explain to you how we go from human to God. Or God to human. It can't be done. Can't be done. Now, you can continue, and if you're in 4D, then the best way of doing that is to go and, and look at all these other videos. Think of all these other things. 
figure it out your own path because that's what you'll do. You'll figure it out in your own way and that will be what is magnificent about what you create. But you'll not find it out. The Pleiadians are in the fourth dimension. People talk about them like, you know, like they're like the end all beat all. They're only in the fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is, you know, I'm, I'm telling you to get to fifth dimension, but there's a lot more in this creation alone. In this creation alone. By the way, guys, you do not have to die to get to 5D. As a matter of fact, most star seeds, if you die, you'll go home. You'll go out of this creation altogether. And by this creation, this creation is everything that's been created since the original creator of this creation divided into light and dark. And this is just one creation. You want to know this creation, throw it up in... Uh, Y'all didn't hear or understand my, my sand analogy, so let me make it smaller for you. Take all of this creation... Put it in a star in the sky. Now look at all the stars. And I don't mean the universe. I don't mean the multiverse. I don't mean the multi-layers. I mean everything that is dualistic in nature. The creation of dualism, period. That is a creation that you can put in the size of a star, put it in the sky, and there's all these, the sky is full of other stars. All those other stars, way different creations. Way different creations. And you can play in them. All of them. Any of them. This is just one creation. Pleiadians are only in the fourth dimension of this creation. This universe is just one universe of infinite universes in this creation. And that doesn't even count the infinite dimensions, and the infinite timelines. See, I say that to you guys, and you guys you go, what? But that's just in this universe. This universe, that doesn't even count all the other dimensions. It's bigger than you guys even can imagine, and I can't even begin to explain it to you. So all I can do is give you the two best options to make it simple. I'm trying to make it simple. I'm trying to make it simple. If you want to know how, why, what, where, and how, and or you enjoy this life, then you need to stay in 4D. It's going to be full of all kinds of fun things. And I've given you some warnings. You are not in the third dimension anymore. You're in the fourth dimension, so you're the babies. You're the babies. You're just now getting to the fourth dimension, and the fourth dimension is full of beings that are so much more advanced than you are that it, you can't even believe, you won't even, you can't even imagine that. Just that. And your genetics has a lot of, it's, it's worth gold out there. So they're going to try to get you, your body. So I'm just telling you, if you're in the fourth dimension, use your instinct. Either way, whether you're going to 5D and on or in fourth dimension, use your instincts. Either way, that's going to be a good thing because it'll keep you to the right side. It'll keep you to the right side. But fourth dimension is still duality, and it still has lower vibrations of duality. You still have judgment. It's not nearly as much fear, very rare, rarely fear. It's massively judgment. So there's a lot of shame not good enough, those kind of lower vibrations in 4D. And they'll use them. They'll use them. Both sides. Okay, you don't have to die to go to 5D. You raise your vibration in your body, match your body with your spirit, soul, whatever you want to call it. You're, I don't know, I can't figure out how you people use these words. But the other side of you, it's not even higher self. That's There's so many different layers. It's so so deep that's the reason why i tell you the best thing to do is just be happier and happier <clears throat> and the more i try to explain this to people the more questions i get the more i feel like um i don't know i can understand how come abraham hicks has said the same thing for 25 years 
and I've listened to so many of of Esther channeling at, at him six, and and he says the same thing. It's the reason why I listen to him is because, you know, uh, them really. It's the reason why I listen to them because uh, I pick up. The, really, I, I don't even pay much attention to what is being so, said. I just feel better when that collective is talking because it feels the vibration is so nice. But that's basically what they come down to. And she tries to explain it in her books and all these different ways of trying to explain it to people. And people come in and say the exact same thing. And they'll come in with their horror stories. And and uh, I'm, I'm going to go and jump on board with her, I guess, and say, uh, I'm saying the same things. I'm saying the same thing. There is an absolute fail-safe to home. I'm, and I don't mean home down the road. I mean home where you came from. If you want to know what the fail-safe is, be happier and happier and happier. I didn't say happy. I said happier. Because, quite frankly, the last couple of two days, I have been working on happier, let alone happy. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, hopefully, that will answer the last couple of emails that I've sent out. I hope, I mean, that I've gotten back today for the last couple of days. Uh, sorry. My new puppy woke me up at 2.30 and I didn't go back to sleep, so I'm just very tired. But, I really wanted to get this video up uh, to answer those questions. All right. Uh, that's it for me. Huge hugs. I love you guys a whole, whole bunch, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.